All right. Today I'm going to talk about the most important subject that I've probably ever done a video on when it comes to obedience training your dog. There is nothing more important or critical in obedience training than being able to stop your dog in motion. Catch, come. Catch, sit. Good boy. Come. Sit. Did you come? Sit. Down. Back. Halfway. Okay. Now just come. Sit. Good boy. Break. Break. Good. Now, this is a forgotten thing in the dog training world. It really does not exist in most training schools. So when you go for obedience training, it's a rare obedience training company that is going to teach your dog this. It's just not thought about. It's not part of the dog training culture in general. So, and unfortunately, it's probably the most important thing by far that you could teach your dog. Now, there's many reasons why you don't hear about this, you don't see it done, rarely, and it's because it's so difficult and complicated to do well. And I'm gonna say this, and this is nothing, most dog trainers, really can't do it with their own dogs well. So to have this, them transfer to the public and offer it, that's why it's so uncommon. It's a lot of work for a trainer too to teach somebody to train their own dog at home how to do this well. Now imagine, most people to get their dogs to sit in front of them every time they tell them without fail is generally a chore. That's why when I go to new clients of mine, they go, nah, he sits pretty well, but it's never gonna be to my standard. My standard of a sit is when I say sit, they go boom. No matter if I have food in my hand, I shouldn't have to have food in my hand, I shouldn't have to have a toy in my hand, I shouldn't have to use a hand signal for that, and most importantly, the dog should be able to sit anywhere I tell him behind. Sit. 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 Everywhere and from distance away from me. Okay, sit. Good boy. Which you never see in the public. Even when they've come from dog training classes already, it's very rare. I, I have personally seen only a few times in my whole career that a dog going through any training process can sit a little bit away from an owner. I'm talking a little bit, nothing great. So, Myself, I will do it with some clients when they have everything done well first. So, to be able to do this, sit in motion, it, or stopping your dog in motion. One, your dog has to sit really well, first close, then from a good distance away from you, when you say sit, they should just sit. 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 Then you have to have a great stay.
and you have to have a great common command. You call. Please go come. Good. Very good. So those things first, sit, sit at distance, stays and comes have to be done first before you can achieve a great sit in motion. Sit. Good. That was good. Because he was going pretty fast too. Yeah. There, that was perfect. Now, to get those feet to stop when a dog is in motion is probably the hardest thing to do in dog training. When they're on the move like that, it's very difficult. And it takes skill, it takes some time, good technique. Now, why is this exercise so important? If your dog is out there somewhere and he's running around, especially if he's across the street, and you cannot call him because you might put him in danger of being hit by the car, but you can't stop him at that distance and you know he wouldn't do it, your dog is at a huge risk because now you're just praying that he just runs around out there and does not head towards the street direction because you know there's nothing you can do about it right now because you cannot stop him in motion. So that's why this is so important with this golden retriever. Now I'm going to show this an extreme version, it's, it, but she's almost like a remote control car. So when you see me tell her to go back, down, there you sit, back, down, there you come, sit. They back, down. She scurries back. Immediately while she's going backwards, I tell her to come, she comes forward. When I tell her to stop immediately when she's coming forward, she sits automatically. Then she come, sit, down, back. So I can send her away, I can bring her in, I can stop her immediately on a word with no hesitation. So with this dog, I can phew, come here, stop, back, stop. Right? That's the ultimate in obedience control. It does not get any better than that. There is no such thing as better than that. So comfortably, I know I can do anything I want with this dog. If there was any sort of danger ever, I can just go, what do I want? And it's done. I can save this dog's life immediately. That's why the sit in motion is so important. And the most important thing in my eyes that you can ever do with a dog. Come, sit. So this, is very complex, high-level obedience training, but to me, absolutely necessary. If you really want, this is what we call a well-trained dog. When you can do these things with your dog, right, and they listen the first time you tell them, and that quickly. Oh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you take it to heart. If you love your dog, it's really something you need to think about and that's why I take dog training so seriously because it really can save dogs' lives. So until next time, Miami Dog Whisperer.